What's going on everybody? Game Asai, back with another video. Now, what do we have here? It's just arrived in the last couple of days. As you can see, it has something to do with Pac-Man. It is from Quarter Arcades, which is the brand that Numskull are using. And it is the one quarter size Pac-Man limited edition arcade cabinet. Comes in this rather fetching box. One quarter scale replica arcade cabinet. That's what I said. As I said, by those lovely people at Numskull. Now, until recently, I only thought Numskull did things like key rings and coasters and, you know, cheap merch like that. But, however, what they've done here is an absolute love letter to the Pac-Man arcade machine. So, what do you get inside? I shall show you, as well as the nice sturdy box it comes with. So you get this Certificate of Authenticity. Numskull has issued the Certificate to authenticate this quarter arcade's collector's edition of Pac-Man as one of a specially limited series of 10,000 copies. Of which mine is number 1,478. Which is nice. It also comes with this collectible coin. Pac-Man 1980, quarter arcade's. Uh, the reverse of the coin has the numskull skull. It looks like that. Which is a nice little touch. But of course, what we really want to see is the arcade itself. And here it is. As I said, it is a one quarter scale. Um, to give you some kind of idea of scale, ugh, there's a PlayStation 2 game next to it. See? There's a can of beer next to it. And... There's a controller next to it. See, see it. I think it's about 18 inches or so tall, 18, 19 inches, something like that. So first impressions are very good. It is mainly wood. Quite a nice feeling wood as well. The graphics are not stickers, which was always a point. I think it's just part of the, the vinyl that's over the wood. And the original Pac-Man actually had a can done paintings, as I remember. Something like that. Something like that. Um, this is all nice. The coin door is metal, as are the little insert coin buttons. The little all joystick there, all of your original Pac-Man art. The attention to detail is absolutely fantastic. Uh, clicky stick. Pay attention, SNK. Clicky stick is hard to make, apparently. Uh, yeah, it looks very nice. On the back we have... A lovely little metal plate. Um, even got the grates, the metal gratings. I don't think they actually achieve anything, I think it's just to stick with the authenticity of how it should look. And then right down at the bottom, there is, if I can focus, a volume dial, a micro USB port to power the machine, it also charges it. So unlike the um, Neo Geo Mini, this one can hold a charge. and the on-off rocker. So to fire the thing up, let's see what it looks like. Hit the rocker, the little marquee lights up, the screen comes on. Come on. That loads the original arcade ROM. And there we go. It's a very nice little screen, it's very clear. Obviously it is uh, an LCD screen. Um, you're not going to get a CRT screen made these days, especially not one of that size. Um, I think a CRT screen would have made this crazily expensive. Don't even know if anyone still makes them. Um, but yeah, overall impressions are nice. It. These are your. Add your credits with these. Anyway, start buttons there. So if we. There we go. Start button. 
I'll we'll try and play it through the viewfinder, so this is probably not going to work great. But it feels nice, the controls are nice and tight. So as you can see, it works very, very nicely indeed. So, what do I think? It's very, very well made. Um, it looks fantastic. It's a great little collectible. Um, everything feels like a real love letter to the original Pac-Man. Um, now, it does a couple of things I don't like. Um, the main thing being there's no way to access any of the options. So, basically, you're stuck with the five life version of Pac-Man, which I believe is what you need to try and... Uh, do the perfect game and kill, you know, get to the kill screen, the famous Pac-Man kill screen. Uh, but it would be nice to have had, you know, access to some emulator options. I believe the emulator being used is not MAME. I think it's a custom emulator made for this occasion. So these cost, there are £150 is the RRP, um, which may seem a bit extravagant, a little bit for, you know, a toy arcade machine, but it's it's a little bit more than a toy. It's a real collector's piece. Um, the quality of the materials used leads me to believe that they're not making a massive amount on each one of these sold, I don't think. For what I understand, there is going to be more of these released. I think they're all Namco releases, uh, so hopefully we'll see a Galaga soon. But yeah, um, it's my thoughts on the Numskull quarter arcade pac-man um, if you're a fan of pac-man then it's a great thing to have let's see i am pac-man tattoos and things um yeah great little collectible grab one while you can as i said there's only ten thousand worldwide so yeah well done numbskull looking forward to galaga anyway i've been gamer keep a hat